Hi, I'm Mike, and today we're going to work on repairing a crack in a block wall. Hey, if this is your first time here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss anything. So this is a uh, pretty good crack in a block wall. It's been repaired before, obviously. You can see that somebody's tried to just fill it with concrete or, or some type of repair, but it is about at its widest point about three quarters of an inch. And all I'm looking to do here is to make a cosmetic repair. This is not structural by any means. It's not gonna last. I've got a big tree on the other side of this wall here and I don't wanna chop it down or cut roots out or anything. So it's likely this will be a maintenance item because uh, it's not intended to last. It's just intended to make it look better. So I am using some quick read concrete repair and it's made for both horizontal and vertical surfaces. It's an acrylic formula, so it's going to be somewhat flexible, but that will uh, that's yet to be determined. For the largest parts of this crack, I'm gonna stuff it with some backer rod, and the directions on the label say to fill in the gap up to a maximum of 3 8 of an inch deep. I'm gonna try to get it to a quarter inch and then put the concrete repair uh, in there and let that harden and then paint it. All right, I'm gonna start stuffing this backer, oh, backer rod in there. And again, I wanna get it in there somewhere. Okay, here's the semi-finished product with the backer rod in there. You can double it up, twist it if the cracks are real large. Uh, if they're not very large, then I didn't do anything like right here. That's less than a quarter inch. But the larger ones, I did end up twisting some in there. Okay, I have a nitro glove on to protect my skin. And I'm just gonna start filling the crack here with this stuff. And I just want to overfill it a little bit. I just want to overfill this. Some of these parts I may end up filling back in again with some some more backer rod. And I will probably come back and give this a second filling. I'm gonna add some more backer rod right there. Okay, I cut a little piece here. I don't care if that sits out a little bit, because I'm gonna cover it up anyway. Like I said, I wanna overfill this so that as it's drying, I can go in and make it look somewhat like the surrounding area. Cosmetic repair only. Let me put some more right up in here. I'm gonna let this firm up a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of mush my finger in here now because it's kind of, it's too smooth. And I wanna give it a little bit of a blending in because this is a very rough stucco finish, which is another reason why I have this glove on. Just want to kind of mash it around, put my finger in and out of it, and make the surface appear somewhat to match the stucco. 
I may end up putting a little more in there after this firms up a little bit. You can see it's still pretty, pretty loose. Okay, there's the first coat. I'll let that dry and put on another. So I've got a little fill-in work to do, and luckily I've got the exact matching paint for this repair. I'm gonna dress this up a little bit, maybe hit it with a wet sponge after I apply the second uh, fill-in layer, and then hit it with the paint, and it's still gonna be noticeable. It's no way gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be a lot less noticeable. Hey, I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.